All right, good evening. I'm gonna try to make a video. So, um, F80 M3, Secure Orange, Sakari Orange. I don't know how to pronounce that. Heavy correction um, and a entry level ceramics. We're gonna get the thing washed and prepped tonight. It's the Tuesday before Thanksgiving and I gotta have the car till Sunday. That's surprising. Here, I'll come a little closer. I don't think there's anything on the paint. That's... That's really flat. I wasn't expecting that. So this is a, the Car Pro wash mat. It's super soft. And then once I'm good with you know the cleaning aspect, I'm gonna hose it off. We'll, we'll, we'll rinse the car, spray Iron X, let that dwell, and then I. I'll do a um, clay treatment, so I'm gonna use the nano skin mitt on the thing. So we'll go through. We'll go through the rest of that. Now, because I am inside, right? Semi temperature controlled. I'm not worried about the soap on the car, you know, it'll be a couple minutes. All I'm doing here, all-purpose cleaner, soft brush. I just want to agitate all the areas before I rinse it off because then we can rinse off everything, door jams included, and you know, we have a clean car. I'm not doing a full on engine cleaning, right? It's not in the scope. Um, but I do want to clean the peripheral and some of the, you know, obvious, some of the obvious spots. Car Pro Iron X. Right. 
Driving a car with no protection on it is an absolute chore. I think that was like 10 minutes of blowing the thing and I don't think it got any of the water off when it was So auto fiber uh, drying towel for a couple of weeks. All right, good evening. We're gonna tape, we're gonna start polishing. We've got about two, maybe three hours worth of time I wanna put into this. It's, it's eight o'clock, it's, it's Wednesday evening. Um, I wanna get the, it'd be great if I could get the, the hood, the roof, and the trunk, and then I'll get the quick jacks out, and we'll jack the thing up, and it's just gonna sit there for the rest. Ideally, I'd push it back another three feet, so I would, I would like to get my wife's car inside, but uh, we're gonna try it tonight. All right, so at this point, the car's washed, it's clayed, it's iron -exed, um, and it's just ready to start polishing. I started working on taping some of the obvious areas, but I really just want to show the paint condition. So as, the, as we've progressed through the sides of the back, the condition just gets marginally worse. Um, you know, it's not terrible. All right, these are obviously just improper washing or, you know, touching the car, whether it be dry or with a bad drying towel. All right, but all of this is what we're gonna remove and I'm gonna bet that the purple is gonna look, I'm sorry, the, the orange, the orange is gonna look a little deeper, a little darker when we're done, right? As the paint gets scratched, starts to get a little dull, you lose some of the color. It's a little, I don't know what that is. Hopefully that's just a watermark. Uh, this is a, the driver's side rear quarter panel, right? but at least the, it's all consistent. I haven't seen anything crazy on the car yet. So this is the trunk. Spoiler's a little funky. I know the carbon fiber roof was, was very contaminated. Oh, I can't do this. There we go. All right, so that's just all swirled out. B pillar is obviously plastic. So we're gonna start working through this. I'm working my way through the Eurofiber pad line for, for a little, you know, for a good while. I've been using all, all Lake Country pads, but Eurofiber has some good ones. So, so this is their low lint wool and I like this because the backing plate is you know almost non-existent right it's super thin so that means all the force from the machine is going to translate to the pad onto the paint right so so this should cut really effectively um, this is the Rupes rotary I'm gonna try this on the hood see how it goes um, more than likely I'll get the mark three and I have some other Eurofiber pads I want to try out as well Begun some of these areas. This will actually be my first time using these things. 
Got them a couple months back. I put my car on it once, but I didn't, I didn't do anything. Happy Friday, uh, so the day after Thanksgiving. We have, I wanna say the bulk of this to do. I've been doing a little bit yesterday and the night before. So we started to cut the hood. Let's see if this will focus. There it goes. All right, so I cut and refined the hood, the top of the roof. And then I started working down the passenger side last night, or yesterday rather. So this is our passenger side fender. So this is cut. I haven't refined anything, but the clarity is really good. A little bit of haze left in there. We'll pull it out with the refinement step. Obviously got it on the quick jacks yesterday. So I figured I want to start today with this back quarter panel. And I want to start cutting this. And then, obviously today I need to cut the whole thing, or cut the rest of the car. In comparison, here's the trunk lid. And then we get into the mess. Actually, that's polish residue. That's a little sloppy. But here's the haze and stuff. I have lights in the corner, right? I can see the light bulb off the piano. I'm cycling it through such that I can see the defects through the clear, and that kind of lets me know how much I need to keep going. Right, if you're sitting here and if you're just doing a handful of passes, stopping, right, being a little robotic about it, it's you'll probably get the job done, but it'll take you like 15 hours because you're sitting there just doing one little section, assuming you're, you know, removing stuff. But if you can't see it, it's like, what's the point? Okay, right, so we just worked this little section. All right, that's good clarity. Now, if we look a little closer, a couple random ones that are showing through. And then for context, see, this is where it come from. All right, so we're going from this this. And if we get real close, all right, there it is. So we're cutting through that garbage to get the clear paint. on compounding. I, the car is dusty, a lot of compounding dust and clear coat right from the heavy correction. So I want to you know, blow it off, wipe it down, use a racer, and have an, hopefully a final look at the paint before I do the refinement step. Um, I know I know there's two areas I need to finish. I forgot about the C pillars, the piano black. Um, we'll get the hybrid for those. I need to do the cup, uh, the door cups. I need to do that by hand, so. And then I really just wanna put you know, fresh bulbs on the car, 
take a look, see if I missed any, hopefully, you know, isolated areas. And then, I wanna get a refine tonight, so it's 5.30 Friday. I lost about an hour and a half, but now there's a, there's a power outage in Steel Creek. So, got a little delayed, but, you can have a look at it. I still got this house on the front end. I need to take those off and clean the glass lightly. Um, you know, but it's looking a lot better. The clarity is good. Probably gonna happen is I have, I have all the shadow trim taped up. I'm, once I get done refining, I'll rip the tape off, but I'm assuming all the shadow trim is just trashed. I need, will, will need to be polished as well. But, at least on a you know wicked hard paint German car is is it's it's light pressure it's slower speeds I'm around four four on the on the roof heads I think I want to switch to a gloss pad um, a car pro gloss pad but we're not cutting anymore all we're doing is removing the little bit of haze that's in the paint. We're going for maximum clarity, maximum gloss, and this light, right, this light polish will, will do that. You know, in comparison, I don't know, probably got nine hours compounding, I'm gonna have an hour and a half, maybe, maybe two hours max polishing, right? So it's much, it's much less involved. Um, All right, so let's have a look at this, right? So a light refinement step followed by Car Pro Eraser just to remove any polishing oils, right? So bare paint. So this is our finished product. Looks amazing, right? So high levels of gloss, really good clarity. That's what we want. Now if we stand back, we just use the lights in the corner. All right, it's, it's so reflective. And just, it looks, this is gonna look its best, right? One more for this side. There's our bulb. Okay, so we're gonna repeat that around the whole thing and that'll be our refinement step. All right, so the plan, 34%. Running through batteries. So the plan right now is, I've been blowing off the car, right? I'm getting all the dust and stuff, compound residue, you know, all the funk that is a product of 
paint correction. So I'm gonna get all the door jams cleaned up. I did the engine um, and then we'll wipe down the whole body with eraser. It's nine o'clock Friday p.m. Um, probably gonna try to get the ceramic on tonight. We'll see. All right, good morning. Uh, Saturday, we're gonna finish this thing up. We're getting there. I wanna pull the, the ceramics on. I need to do the roof once I get it off the, the quick jacks. But I wanna start going over the odds and ends, like the, the tires, wheels, door jams. Obviously the interior, interior needs to be sorted. Um, but let it focus. There it is. All right, uh, exhaust tips. So here, let's show these things. So factory chrome exhaust tips. A little pitted. Nothing crazy. So we're gonna use, so to clean that, uh, Poor Boys World Quadruple Zero. Needed the steel wool. So we'll try the right side without steel wool and we'll see. But quadruple zero is is very soft. All right, so gloss was not a problem before. Clarity was, was what we we're going after. Now I think the color looks deeper. It's definitely a touch darker 